people up top to the people down. You know, everybody, as you know, the the the, the, the cascading of, of power from the top to the bottom. Everybody really made us feel comfortable. They made us feel welcome, and um, they really made us feel like we were part of this filmmaking process. And there were so many great moments. I mean, just in between takes, just goofing off or laughing or, you know, rapping. We, we would rap all the time on set, me and Amandala and Josh and, and Jackie. And, you know, we would just, you know, we would <laughs> we would just rap all the time. Like, we would, in between takes, we'd bust out our, our iPods and we'd just start, like, pick a song and just, just start jamming, you know. So those were, those were a lot of fun moments, especially when we were doing the, um, the, the, the parade, the, the, the chariot scenes. Um, those scenes were great. Uh, they were long, long, long nights, long, long hours filming, but they were, they felt so great because everybody there was trying to make the best film that they could make possible. And in between sets, you know, we didn't take ourselves too seriously, you know, we, you know, we, we, um, we just tried to have as much fun as we could on set because, you know, great moments like making a movie like this don't come very often. So when you get the chance to, to do, to do, yes, Josh rapped, he's, Josh, Josh can rap every line to Chris Brown's "Look at Me Now." That's a fact, and he's he's nice. Um, <clears throat> how was your relationship with Amanda? Um, amazing. Amanda's Amanda's a G. Like, she is the most mature thirteen year old I've ever met in my life. Like, there are times when I feel like a child around her. She makes me feel like a child. That's how mature she is, and she is the sweetest, coolest person ever. I couldn't. Suzanne Collins couldn't write a perfect um, tribute partner for me. And, and they cast that role very well. Amanda, you're a G. Love you, girl. Um, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I veered off. I'm supposed to be answering the questions that you guys are asking on Facebook. Okay. Um, this is from Kia. Oh, Kia, what's up? Um, what's your dream role to play someday? Um, I'm, not the kind of, I'm not that kind of actor. I don't covet dream roles. Um, I don't. I'm not that kind of person who's like, oh, man, I want that role. Like, that's the role I want. I do have an idea of the kind of characters that I want to play. I want to play real, meaty characters. I want to play characters that aren't perfect, that are flawed, that aren't just two-dimensional caricatures of people. I like to, to play characters that, you know, that are contradicting. They contradict themselves. They, they have dilemmas and they have conflicting thoughts because that's how we are as human beings. You know, one day we're... We're on top of the world the next day. We feel like, you know, we're, um, we feel like we're not perfect and we're not good enough. And that's how real people in the world are. And so I, I want to be able to play those kind of characters. I want to play real characters um, that, you know, when, that are universal. You know, if, if, I remember I've heard an actor say this, if you stay specific to the heart of a character, the universal will come out of that. So, um, if, if I want to play characters that have specifics, that have specific ticks, which which is a, a different thing with Thresh because Thresh is really a mystery in this, in in, in this movie, and he's a mystery in the books as well. And so, um, other than the fact that you know his mom and his, he has a mom and a sister, um, I really had liberties to what I could do with the character, with his physicality, and and I could really give him a backstory that wasn't really there initially. So that was awesome because I could go and do homework and I could make up this character for the most part um of course staying true to um to to what what's in the books um so yeah to answer your question Keith, i just want to play real characters i want to play real people and to bring the universe universality if that's a real word out of that um <clears throat> if you um this is from denise i hope i said that right denise elizondo if you were in the games, what would you do to stay alive? Greetings from Mexico. What's up, Mexico? Um, if I was in the games, honestly, I would, I would be a combination of Thresh and and Foxface because I I'm not a killer. Okay, I'm a lover. I'm not a fighter. That's just not what I do. Um, but that would be a combination of what I, of my tactics. You know, I would I would just avoid my way till the end and let the and let the dogs wipe themselves out. Um, that, that would be my strategy. I'll just go chill in the weed field, you know, and just eat up, get bigger. <laughs> um, once in a while, tiptoe to the cornucopia, you know, I'll have a weapon to protect myself, but you know, I'm not, a, I'm not a bloodthirsty person, but don't get me wrong. You know, if you cross me, I'm a, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to tax that. Um, <clears throat> oh, you would, 
Michael, the answer is a little too short. You won't get through. Okay, cool. Team Thresh, what's up? I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Um, I'll, I'll try and cut my question short. Uh, okay. Um, let me see. If you if you have a chance to be another character, who will it be? If I had a chance to be another character, it would be Caesar Flickerman. When you guys see what Stanley has done with this character, you will flip. It's the most amazing character. Like it's the most liberating. You could you could do no wrong as Caesar Flickerman, and Stanley has done an amazing job with it. You guys will love that. That would be the one character I would love to play because it's freedom. You can get up there and say whatever whatever you want. Um, yeah. Um, um, was it hard to film death slash killing scenes with all of your friends? Um, no, it was amazing. Like we would joke and then the next thing we would start killing each other. Like it wasn't like, oh my gosh, I'm, I feel so bad. No guys, it's, it's make believe it's that's, that's the fun of it. The fun is you get to do it and not suffer the repercussions of it. So it was, it was, it was awesome. Like I felt like, you know, we all felt like badasses when we were doing it, but, um, uh, but of course, on film, it's going to translate to very real and very like dire situations. Um, okay, cool. Grace, what was the most fun scene to film? I think I've answered that already. Where, um, Landon? Where's the cornucopia? Oh, they didn't show the cornucopia in the trailer for good reasons, of course. You guys will see that eventually. But we are tech, we're running to the cornucopia. You can't you can't quite you can't see it's 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 it was a bit far away. It was a bit of a distance. Um, so you, in the trailers, you don't see the cornucopia, but it's there. We were running to it. Um, Bell, did Thresh have a crush on Rue in the book? No, Thresh did not have a crush on Rue. Thresh be 18, she be 12. Um, that's, that's, yeah. Um, what sort of training did you do? Any weapons? I did all training. I did physical training because I had to get in physical shape. And I also did, um, what's up, Annie? I just got your text. Um, um, I did um, physical training for the role, like an hour of physical training and then an hour of weapons training every day before I started filming. And it was everything from blades to hand-to-hand -hand combat, staff training, boxing. Um, yeah, I did I did everything under the sun because initially they didn't know what weapon Thresh would, would use, so they kind of just trained me for everything. And uh, eventually I got the chance to pick the weapon that I that I use in the, in the Cornucopia, and it's a pretty sick weapon, but we're not going to talk about that. But uh, well, about specifics of what the, the weapon was, but it was... It was uh, it, it was really awesome. I was happy to do that stuff. You know, it's fun. You know, it's it's cops and robbers, but on a higher level. You know, as a kid, the moments you dream about. Um, what was the most fun experience on set? I already told you. Every day, just being on set was a fun experience. Um, if you could be any character of the book, who would it be? I already answered that. Um, what was your favorite book of the series and why? I'm not saying this just because I'm in it, but The Hunger Games. The first book is my favorite book because it really opens you up to this whole world and it really shows you, it, it, as a reader, it really gets you excited about the whole world and it gets, it, that's where you fall in love with all the characters. So that's the book that I really love. And the reason why Mocking Jay would be my my next favorite is because of the culmination. You get to see how everything comes together. And it's a real book, and it's in, and there are real situations, and there are real casualties, if you know what I'm talking about. And that's why I love it, because it stayed true to the story, and it kept it real. So, yeah, The Hunger Games would be my favorite, followed by Mockingjay. Okay, um, um, are we going to... Are we going to see any projects that would... What, are we going to see any projects that you would do with any of the Hunger Games cast? I don't know what that means. Are we going to see you in any other movies, TVs? Working on that. Keep your eyes peeled. Um, fan mail address. I will get a fan mail address real soon. I'm sorry. Someone has asked me about that before. I'll, uh, I'll talk to the peoples about that. I'll talk to my people about getting the fan mail. Um, so you guys can write me and send me awesome stuff, and I can write you back. Because um, I'm old school. I, I, you know, third world country. I'm from Nigeria. You know, we do it old school back there. So, um, yeah, I'll be able to write you guys back, and uh, that's awesome. Uh, what was the most challenging scene to film? Um, the most challenging scene to film. Um, they weren't. They weren't. They all had their challenges. They all had their equal challenges, and and uh, but it was fun. It was. It was fun. There, were, there weren't really days where you were like, "Oh my God, I just need to get out of here." There wasn't anything like that because the moment you started to feel tired or you had to wake up early to go shoot or something immediately you would remember how privileged you are and how people would kill to have to be in the same position that you are in so there wasn't there weren't 
challenging. They were they were they were fun. They were exciting, and and I loved I loved doing every single thing in this movie. Um, yeah, is it is it hard training for the Hunger Games? Have you read the Hunger Games? Really, really, have I read the Hunger Games? No, I 